Hello everyone and welcome to the Power Slide podcast uh, for our review of Rally Croatia. Uh, it's been a very difficult uh, past few days for everyone in the rally community as uh, we lost uh, Craig Breen uh, in a pre-event test before the rally. Uh, so we're going to keep uh, the jokes to the minimum and talk about the rally. Yeah, uh, okay, let's start. Uh, uh, uh it it was a it was a difficult uh, weekend for everyone we had uh, many tributes uh, from every team uh, on the cars and the wc2 cars uh hyundai changed their livery to match the irish flag on their car uh, i'm sure all of us would like uh, hyundai to win in this weekend but unfortunately that didn't happen uh, as uh, Elfin Evans won uh, in Croatia, I think his first ever tarmac win, uh, and his first win is uh, Finland twenty twenty one. So let's hear everyone's thoughts on that. Yeah. And now, what I've just remembered, I haven't introduced anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm Dimitris. I'm joined today by Maxi. Hello. Silver. Hello. And Zener. Hello. Sorry for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, what What do you make of Evans's performance, everyone? I'm pretty sure it was his first time I win. I think someone talked about it on on comms and said it, he's now collected wins on every surface. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think he's had it coming for him in Croatia, and he finally got it. I mean, he he lost it with a small mistake uh, on the end of the power stage in 2021, and. Uh, now now he actually won it so yeah it, it was in one way good to see Evans win um after such a long drought as well but i guess even even me as a avid nouvel hater would have uh, liked to see hyundai winning this weekend yeah um it's generally generally good to see Evans take his first win especially in the rally one era i really hope this like kickstarts the same run he had in 21 and 2020 um and i'm especially happy for scott martin uh who was well basically his co-driver and before he uh went on into the wrc with evans was actually with uh craig breen so i think it's a fitting driver pairing to win this rally yeah uh, about what Silver said about winning on every surface, uh, we should put an asterisk on that because Sweden 2020 was uh, uh, technically yeah. it counts. <laughs> yeah, we should we should just say that the Sweden 2020 was a, a live result, uh, a, a live example of climate change. <laughs> he touched snow, I think. Yeah, it just I think it. that's. He does more gravel, that's the problem. In fairness, uh, there was snow in Croatia, so we can count that as well. Yes, more than in Monty, <laughs> yes. in the Vladak uh, stage. Uh, yeah, uh, should we get on our predictions? Uh, uh, we shall start with uh, Maxi. Hello, Maxi. Oh, uh, let, let me... Look no, I have my them. I have oh, them. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, so you, you put Lube in, f- in fifth. Didn't quite happen. He was up no. to fourth after uh, Newville's uh, retirement, but uh, tire issues and then <coughs> an engine problem. And then he so basically, yeah, no. So basically, the Ford Puma happened. Yes, the yeah. Ford Puma happened. We will get yeah. to that as well because the Ford Puma also happened for Tanak again. Uh, you had Tanak in fourth, Newell in third, Kale in second, and Oji in first. Uh, I do not want to talk about my predictions. <laughs> based on the people you have in your top f- five, so people in the top five, you get like one point. Uh, the, you have one. Tanak was in the top five. Nice. <laughs> Uh, but no, I think sorry. Top... Oji and Kale were also in the top five. Oji was fourth and Kale was oh. fifth. But like my top ten, uh, when I did then on 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 EWLC, I hope I can name 
Yes, you can That's name it, the most yeah. popular plat uh, yeah, uh, platform. <laughs> so yeah, if I go to like my top ten, it didn't really look any better from yeah, six to tenth. <laughs> same. Don't worry. Same. Uh, Zener. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. That's not the question. We're here to talk. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't actually care how you are. Yes, yeah. it doesn't matter how you are. Uh, Evans is in fifth, uh, Tanak fourth, Rovampera third, Newville second, and Ogier first. What, uh, uh, what I will give to you is that if no one had issues, this would probably be how the rally would have ended. But that's not how rallying goes, so you don't get a lot of points for that. Uh, uh, oh, it's time for mine now. Uh, I put Ogier in first, Newville in second. Rovampera in third, Evans in fourth, and Tanak in fifth. Very similar to yours. Also bad. And then we have Silver, Ogier oh first, mm -hmm. Evans second, Newville mm -hmm. third, Tanak mm -hmm. fourth, and Lube fifth. Which, in fairness, take away Ogier, that's not horrible. Where's Kale? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Who actually cares about Kale? Okay, we move on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We move on to Matt and George, who were not here. Uh, Matt put Ogier, Rovampera, Newville, Lapi, and Tanak. He was the only one to put uh, Lapi in his top five and gets rewarded for it as uh, Sapeka finished in third. Uh, George had Ogier, Evans, Newville, Rovampera, and uh, Tanak. Right, so let's get to the actual rally. We did talk about uh, Elf and Evans uh, winning. Uh, but uh, the results could have been uh, different um, because on the first day, on the on the second stage, if I'm not mistaken, which I think I'm not, uh, Kaler of Ampera and uh, Sebastian Ogier got a puncture on the same spot on a compression and had to stop and change the tire, losing uh, uh, two minutes plus. Ogier lost one minute 30, but... He started the car without his co-driver having done the seat belt, so he was penalized one minute and ten seconds for it, which is a completely fair decision to me and for to everyone. I hope. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, how many penalties did Ogier already get for not having his seat belt on, or his no, co-driver not having his seat belt? He on? didn't actually get penalties, did he? He got like uh, fines. Fines, yeah, for not doing yeah, his uh, helmet up or something. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. He had a, a penalty for not having the... What's the other thing of the helmet called? Yeah, the strap. The strap, thank you. He didn't have the straps so when he got a, a penalty and a suspended something. There's also 2021 in Croatia where, you know, a BMW mm. got somewhat destroyed-ish on yeah. his door. Ish. Then, ish. Ish. Yeah. But they better have given him a new Toyota. Uh, <laughs> 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 I can't imagine. That this is definitely the correct. Sorry, Susanna. I can't imagine the uh, conversation uh, that bloke in the BMW had with his insurance company. <laughs> imagine he was going to work. Uh, why are you late? Uh, you were not going to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian Ogier crashed into me. <laughs> Go home, you're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of drunk, a, a, a small parenthesis. Did you see uh, the drunk Croatian fans fighting on the stage with some Polish fans? Yes. Yep. The Polish fans? Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Maxi, as an avid Polish... Avid person, Polish. She's yes. a half Pole. I am very disappointed. <laughs> Please don't do that. Please don't fight. Please don't be drunk. Yeah, especially I, in the middle of a stage. Yeah. I think yeah. I think the appropriate penalty for this should have been uh, being taken to Poland in the back of a Fiat One Two Six P. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. That's how depo depo deportation uh, should. I'm I'm amazed. Uh, Finnish and Estonian fans haven't fought at a stage in Finland or something. <laughs> uh, because you're mature. -ish. No, but they like to get very drunk. Yeah, but you're mature-ish. No. Oh. Okay. People, if you people, say so. People from, people from the Balkans and uh, uh, Eastern Europe, we're not so mature. Oh, yeah, so... See, seeing the stuff I see on social media from Polish stuff, it's just um, 
Okay, anyway, <laughs> enough about uh, anyway. Uh, our, our culture and heritage. Pirelli, <laughs> they're shit. Boom. And <laughs> yeah, we can't just say that. Uh, Pirelli, yet again, have, have, have been faced with uh, criticism because uh, we didn't have like ten the 10 plus punctures we had last year, but we still had a fair amount. Oje got two punctures, Lube got two punctures, uh, Evans got a puncture. Uh, uh, and especially on a compression where it's just it's not even you didn't even hit something it's a compression and it, it ruined the, the two guys is uh, rally they yeah like have, it would have definitely been on the podium like how does that even happen a fucking a, a tire is built to withstand compression and weight Pirelli. Yes, but uh, here uh, Pirelli, we uh, don't uh, apply what? the laws of physics. At the yeah, tire! tire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, should, we should mention as well that the base notes for both, for both uh, Ogier and Rovamper were don't cut, take, the, take the, the compression instead of the cut because mm. some stone could be in, you'd get a puncture. And they both took the compression and got a puncture, which is <laughs> stupid. We just <laughs> uh, right enough about the punctures. Uh, uh, Nuvo Fury. was leading the rally after the punctures, and uh, in uh, total Nuvo fashion, he crashed out from the lead again, similarly to Iper. Mm -hmm. Only in Iper it was worse because he had a bigger lead. Mm -hmm. But this is also just as bad in a very emotional weekend for Hyundai. I think everyone would have loved him to see. And it's just really, really disappointing to see Newville do it again. Some things never change. As, Smugness. <laughs> as somber as it is, I would have liked to see uh, him win um, in, in the circumstances, but I can't say I'm surprised by this at all. Usually, if Newville is leading a rally by like the midpoint, it's a, a danger sign. Like, we um, once watched the IRC season, <laughs> and it was just so funny to see Newville leading, and then two shots later, him being somewhere in a ditch. Yes, that was, <laughs> it was like a running gag. Yeah. That's the average Newell thing to do, really. An idea for yeah. a new article, Newell, uh, article, Dimmy. Um, <laughs> the Times Newell has crashed out of the lead. Uh, I'm not I mean, getting paid enough. To this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting paid enough. For this. In fact, I'm not getting paid at all. You guys get paid. <laughs> so for the people that didn't watch the rally, Newell uh, was, uh, I think, stage 10, the new stage, uh, the newest stage, the, the only new stage of the rally. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was approaching a right hander, I'd call it like a three or four right. Uh, he took the cut, brake too late, slid, the rear snapped, not the sole, but kind of rear snap, <laughs> uh, and hit a concrete, like draining something, and broke the suspension, hit the tree, and stuck in the ditch. So, yeah, that was. Uh, that was that's that was all she wrote for uh, Newville's rally. He did go on to win the power stage. It was a good run from him there. Uh, but uh, after that, the rally was pretty much done for uh, in in the top three positions. Uh, 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 Tanak tried to go uh, to push Evans for the lead, but uh, he he did. Um, he did narrow the gap to 12 seconds from the 30 that were, I think, when uh, Yuval had his crash. But then again, but then after the, the 12 seconds, the Puma struck again uh, in the form of uh, what being was a it? Puma. The handbrake yeah, not the working. The handbrake and then transmission issues. Yes. And Evans won the rally in the end comfortably. Why is the Puma unreliable? I don't know. It's an That's SUV. <laughs> it's not an SUV. It's a crossover. It's a crossover. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, wait, what is the Puma actually as a, a crossover? It's a crossover. Yeah, even worse. Even worse. <laughs> Fair enough. Actually. Because it's not even sure that it's an SUV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the problem, I think the Puma, because we also saw a, an engine problem with the Pierre Lubé on the mm. last day. 
the Puma is really unreliable. Uh, it was we saw a lot of mechanical issues last year as well for Gus, uh, for uh, for Leb in all the rallies he did, unfortunately, and uh, and. Lube this year has had a lot of mechanical issues with the power with the power steering problem in um, in Monty and uh, the his engine dying on the last stage and having to go to stage to the the end of the stage on hybrid. Should uh, the the boys in M Sport uh, be uh, worried about that? I yeah. I, tend to I mean, be. of course. They, yeah. uh, and they have Tanak as well, constantly pushing them because he he is not gonna hang around if he's gonna have another unreliable car. Like he's had he had it with the Toyota in 2018. He had it uh, at Hyundai, arguably for all the years he was there. I don't 2021, think 2021, not 2022. The Hyundai was reliable. Mm, Safari. Um, Fair. Uh, I don't think he wants to put up with another unreliable car that ultimately denies him uh, challenging for the title. Of course, right now it's very close and it's still under control. Very, very close. It is. It's it's still under control, but I, I don't think he wants this kind of stuff to keep happening because there's no way to challenge for a title if your car is constantly breaking down. The, the first day, uh, I've got to say, uh, I was surprised with the pace of the Puma, especially in the first day. I was expecting them to be a bit further back, but I think they were pretty much on pace with at least the Hyundai because the Toyota is, I think, the fastest car out of the three on tarmac. I was really happy to see all three cars um, being competitive, and oh, that's reflect. And also on the podium. Yeah, exactly. It's the first time since 2020 that we've had three different car manufacturers on the podium. Wasn't it 2019? Is- no, it was 2020. I made a mistake. Ah. <laughs> it was Mexico 2020. <laughs> Mexico 2020. I see. With Ogier, uh, Tanak, and Suninen. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 should, should, we should also mention that... Um, I've had a I, brain fart. I forgot what I was going to say. Fill in the blanks, please. <laughs> Did you want to... Yeah, mention OJ or uh yes. He's leading he's still leading the championship despite doing <laughs> uh a rally less than his com- that, than his uh falls, <laughs> let's say. Yeah, oh, that, is, that that was the word I was looking for. <laughs> you Thank just you, went medieval for that one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Right. Um, uh, he is still leading by uh count back. Yeah, on count, on yeah. count He would have won. He, he would have definitely won the rally without the puncture and the penalty. Yes, but thankfully yeah. he did not. Um, yeah, for the sake of the championship. Uh, um, for the it, sake of our sanity. <laughs> yes, exactly. Not too, yeah. Uh, but uh, do you think he will be doing more rallies than he planned to now that he's still leading after this rally as well? Even though he's had a bit of a disaster, to be honest. I hope not. <laughs> uh, I don't think he will. Yeah, me neither. I think he'll do Safari. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone said uh, he might do Sardinia, and I said, why would you voluntarily do <laughs> Sardinia? <laughs> uh, I think he'll do Safari. I think he'll do uh, maybe Acropolis. I don't maybe. think so. Probably maybe. Japan. Definitely Japan, Japan, actually. So one of um, ah, Chile, maybe, because it's exotic. <laughs> drivers like exotic. <laughs> Go to Chile, say wowzers. That's the rally for me. Wowzers, <laughs> there is a protest. Oh. No, that's that's not Formula E. That, that's <laughs> yes, have a climate <laughs> protest at Formula E. What a big brain move. <laughs> yes, yeah. enough about l- inferior motorsports. <laughs> yes, let's go to very. Ooh, Let's go to very superior motorsports and talk about uh, Armin Kramer winning the <laughs> WRC2 Masters. Uh, no, it's Cup. not Who's WRC2 that? Masters. Be correct. It's WRC Masters Cup because you can also drive a Rally 3 or an RGT. Who cares? 
Amy Grammar won. I'm about to be it, kicked out of this podcast. We started, we started uh, supporting Amy Grammar as a bit of a meme last year, but now we're actually supporters of Amy Grammar. Yeah. Uh, yep. Maxi, what are your thoughts on the Kramer Watch segment uh, on our Twitter? The best segment. I'm, I'm keeping my eyes on it. You're keeping your eyes on it, but I'm, I'm tweeting it. Shouldn't you tweet yeah. it? Maybe I should. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, whole, the whole idea of the podcast today was to make you to tweet Kramer Watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it from now on. <laughs> Uh, okay, enough about Armin Kramer. Good, solid drive. Uh, he's the only fast 50 plus year old apart from Leb soon enough. But yeah, good job to him for winning a W. Leb, after he turns 50, he could go win nine Masters Cups as well. He could win like a lot of. He would win in a Maxi uh, 306. <laughs> I'm sure. Noob at 50 would still win the World Rally Championship. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, I agree. I, yeah, agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Okay, so uh, I let's, talk about, let's, talk, let's talk about WSC2 proper. Uh, Johan Rossell wins uh, his sec- on his second outing in the championship this year. His first one was in Monty, where he controversially won because uh, mm. Nikolai Gryzin received a penalty for a Minuscule cut, let's say it wasn't anything crazy, no. but yeah, uh, pH sport. Uh, uh, on on, we so must that. protest because we do not win, so we must win another way. <laughs> yes, uh, I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, uh, uh, Rohan Russell wins uh, on the, and also on the debut of the updated uh, C3 Rally 2. Yes. Uh, so a good debut for Citroen. Well, not debut. It's just debut. updates, but still. I can't believe uh, they're still updating that car. To be honest. Yeah. What did you? What did you want them to do? To put instead. Yes. <laughs> the Citroen Army. <laughs> <laughs> we'll roll at the side of the hairpin. <laughs> the road gate will weigh more than the car. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Citroen Ami NGP7 when? <laughs> oh no! That would be a promo move. <laughs> All right. Anyway, who was who was in second? In second was uh, Nikolai Gryzin. Nikolai Gryzin. So it's a bit of a deja vu, but mm. without the penalties. Uh, in third was Emil Lindholm, and in fourth was uh, Adrian Fomo. Adrian Fomo, yes. Who, who won the... No, he didn't win the power stage. Gus no. got him in the end. It was a good rally for Gus as well, but he got two punctures. And uh, for more, had to stop on stage too and reset the car due to a mechanical issue and lost a minute. Mm. Uh, and oh, we should also mention Oliver Solberg, who wasn't in WSC2, finished third overall in the Rally 2 class, beating Emil um, Lindholm in, uh, on the power stage. Uh in terms of WRC2, who has been your driver of the rally? Probably, like, just was fast overall and got the win. So. Rossell. Yeah. Rossell. Yeah, because it didn't pick it up. Ah, nice. Maxi? Yeah, for me too. Uh, I didn't actually expect him to win this rally, even though he's good on tarmac. And I generally expected the Skoda to be so extremely dominant. But then everything just went his way, and he did very well. So he's my driver of the rally. Silver? Johan Rossell. I don't think anyone else has really done anything impressive enough to take it away from him. Uh, I'm here to break the Rossell... Uh, uh... I'm going to say Adrian for more. Yes, I'm going to say Adrian for more. I knew it. <laughs> I'm going to say Adrian for more because compared to his teammate, again, very, very f- too too fast in compared to Monster. His teammate uh, is Monster. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it's no fine. Shit it's housing. Fine. No, okay, okay, let's be serious. Uh, for more, for more, he's driving 110% on that Fiesta to compete with uh, 
the Skoda and the C3 and even the Polo. Even the Polo is faster. We saw Nicolas Simon, Simon, whatever his name is, however his oh, name is pronounced. Oh, he's actually a good shout for driver of the rally as well because he was pretty amazing until he crashed. Yeah, but, yeah, but the problem yeah, is... Until crashed. he crashed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... He 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 was he was going to be my driver of the rally, but then he binned it. I'm very sad he binned it. He was doing a very very good job. It. I'm also sad he binned it. it. It's good to see that the Volkswagen is still competitive as well. Yeah, the, the Volkswagen hasn't been updated since God knows when, and it's still <laughs> fairly competitive. Since the so, days where Grazin drove it, 2018 or so. Yeah. I think there was a whole story about Grazin got a Polo R5 and then, like, the day after they said it would not be getting any more updates. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. So, that, so, yeah, I say I dream for more because he's been driving, like, he's been driving fast and not crashing, which is an improvement compared to last year and the year before. So, good on it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. What, what was that? Good on him for that. Uh, I think we should also mention JWRC for once, because uh, absolute chaos happened. Mm -hmm. Two drivers finished without Super Rally. Yes, two drivers finished without Super Rally, mm -hmm. and uh, there was drama. Will Will Crichton was leading and crashed, and then Laurent Pellier uh, had had an engine failure on the final day. I think on the penultimate stage. Mm -hmm. Eamon Kelly won, which is, he, of course, he, as being Irish, he uh, dedicated his win to Craig Green, which is very nice to see, obviously. Mm -hmm. But before he won, Brian Sonnet, Brian, what's his name? Brian Sonnet, Tom Brian Sonnet. Tom Brian Sonnet. Tom, Tom Brian Sonnet. Yes. Uh, in, in the Belgian in the Fiesta Royal 2 also had engine issues mm -hmm. and, and dropped a minute and dropped to... Second. To, to second, yeah. So, really, <laughs> M Sport really putting everything in terms of reliability <laughs> to all, all three categories, as it seems. Yeah, what, what's going on there? Like, can they not put together a car at all anymore? No, they've they've seen the uh, Mega Chrome engine failures from Formula Two and said, "Yes, we need this in our junior <laughs> series as well." <laughs> yeah. Uh, we should also mention Fabio Svarch, uh, the son of Armin Svarch, finished third in the Rally 3 category, mm. despite being very slow, <laughs> sorry <laughs> to say. He's still 18, he's he's younger than half of the people here, so he still has a, a future. I mean, finishing yeah. third doesn't say much. McRae and Matthew did that a few times last year. Oh No, <sighs> he didn't. Thankfully for everyone, he did not finish third. Anyway, he was just 40 minutes off without super rallying. <laughs> uh... So yeah, JWRC. Uh, Eamon Kelly got his first win. Uh, uh, Will Crichton is still leading the championship, and uh, Laurent Pellier, despite his DNF, is in second in the championship, and in third is uh, Diego Dominguez from Paraguay, who also retired because of a broken wheel, if I'm not mistaken. Mistaken. Second best Paraguayan driver. Uh, first, Zaldivar is not that great. <laughs> I will not comment on this matter. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone has been insane enough to watch through all of our podcasts, they might get this reference. Yes. Uh, Zaldivar competed in uh, Argentina. There was ra Rally Argentina was, uh, was uh, last week. Please hmm. bring it back to the WRC if anyone is listening in a post. Then, yes, Mr. Know. WRC, please. Yes, Mr. WRC, uh, Please bring back Argentina. I really, I think everyone loves that rally. And please Mr. Mr. WRC, please bin Liepaja. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry to our Latvian fellows, but no. get a better rally. <laughs> yes. Obtain better roads. Yes, obtain yeah. better roads. <laughs> don't need fast, flat, chicane, flat. It's not, it, 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 Build some it, mountains it, and do some rough gravel. <laughs> yes. 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 We or we at Estonia it. can do artificial jump. Surely you can do an artificial mountain. <laughs> In Rally Arlo can never be better. Bomber field. And then you have like a crater to drive in. 
a skate park for rally cars. Yes. <laughs> Kick so slip. basically, episodes there on Warsaw. <laughs> yes. Or just host Rally Liepaja in Cyprus. Or, in, or just host Rally Liepaja in winter and do something interesting with it. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Mm. I agree. That'd be cool. Mm. Rally Liepaja was in the ERC when, he, when it was in the... It still is in the ERC. Yeah. Martin the day, Sesk will win winter. everything. Martin Sesk should uh, get a Rally 1 car. It would be yeah. fun. Yes, Martin Sesk with a Rally 1 at Liepaja would be something to watch. Yep. Because he why absolutely we, demolishes everyone about, in, in, in a rally too. Why are we talking about Liepaja? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's get some closing... Before we get some closing thoughts, uh, today uh, news came out that uh, Chris Meek will be back in the WRC for Rally Portugal uh, in the Sports and U Hyundai Portugal Rally 2 uh, that uh, Craig Breen was supposed to be driving. Uh, it's a it's a sad way to come back, but nevertheless, it's good to see Chris Meek uh, back uh, on, in the championship. And the surprise co-driver um, on the rally that is this week in the Portuguese championship, he will be co-driven by Ola Flerne, uh, oh. former Andreas Mikkelsen co-driver. That's a cursed combo. Uh, yes. But it's still fun. Yes. I love cursed co-driver and driver combos. <laughs> Can you give us your favorite off, your, off the top of your head? Oh, God. You put me on the spot here. But I guess uh, Gus Greenspith, Jonas Anderson isn't a bad one. Does Energy have uh, any? Uh, Peter Solberg Mikkelsen. Uh, oh, that doesn't count. That it's no. 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 Mm. I, I'm, I'm going to say... I'm gonna say um, uh, Elfin Evans and Giovanni Bernaccini <laughs> in, in Sardinia 2013. Or Elvin Evans, Phil Mills. I'll mean Schwarz, Denny out there as well because mm. French and Germans don't mix. <laughs> We've seen that two times. Or Jordan Zerderidis, Gregoire Munster. I have one, but that's not a rally. It's more of a rally festival with this year Nikki Grist being co driven by Juha Kankunen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh that yeah. is cursed. Nikki Grist has a Celica. Yes. Yeah. He drives it at Goodwood as well. I know. He, he drove it in, uh, uh, in Eiffel Rally. <laughs> yeah, he will drive it this year. W. I'll try to go, but I don't know if it will happen. Go. Go or else, yeah. Uh, another cursed yeah, driver, co co driver, co driver combo. I've thought of Robert Virves, Hugo Magal Hirsch. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, definitely yeah. Cursed. that's definitely cursed. It's very that's cursed. really cursed. We also have the fictional one from WRC2. Oh, in the yes, rally. yes, <laughs> and it's anyway. real, it's real. There's not, no, not that one, but there is an Estralasia one because. One of the crudas was co driven driven by Oh yeah, Scott um not Scott whatever uh, his name is, the Australian Mosdale. guy. Mosdale. Yes. Mosdale. Yes. Moscat. Moscat, I think. Whatever, who cares? Who anyway. In in a Chinese rally nonetheless, in a yes. super X V or something. And yep. on that bombshell, it's time to learn Chinese <laughs> buddy. Thank you very much for listening to the Power Slide podcast. Uh once again we hope Portugal uh can be a more cheerful theme. Uh, for everyone in the rallying community. Actually, we could do Islas Canarias, come to think of it. Uh, On the spot, will we do a preview for it? Yes, no. We'll see. <laughs> Politician. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching or listening to the podcast. Be sure to leave a like or a comment and rate us on Spotify. And, yep, yeah, see you soon or in Portugal. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.